I, Jibo Bondek, solemnly swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth and some other things. So yeah, I have 14 questions here with me that I'm going to answer honestly. The first question goes, drop a very good pickup line. Personally for me, I, I think pickup lines are corny. I think it's for, for like secondary school boy stuff. Like, if you are feeling somebody, just walk up to them, talk to them, then get contact or something. But pickup lines, it's trying to be, it doesn't mean you're a bad guy. So I don't believe in pickup lines, to be honest. <sighs> what is a relationship deal breaker for you? Let me see. You are not a tidy person, to be honest. You are not tidy. You are not neat. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Yeah. Older women or women your age, um, ask to be older women. Older women, I, I personally, from experience, they are easier to deal with and they are more like straightforward and they know what they want. Yeah. Can you understand? Living together with your lover or separately, I'd say separately, if or when we decide to get married, uh -huh, we are going to live together for like decades, right? So, <clears throat> and also to avoid like sea finish. Yeah, because you know, when you're always like in each other's space, there's a respect my life with you or something. I don't know. So, I'd rather not separately. Have you ever said I love you when you didn't mean it? No, no, no. I have never said that. I have never. Like, if anybody that I don't actually love tells me I love you, I'll be like, thank you. Or God bless you. I'll send you like an hug emoji with like the heart stuff. So you know that we are not on the same page. Yeah. Can you die for Yash? No. In the wise words of Dave, he said, don't get caught for puss. Don't die for Yash. Like, like, you don't do that. Like, there are more things in life. Like, sh you shouldn't have to die for yash. There's a lot of yash out there. You look left, there's yash. You look right, there's yash. You look all there's yash. You close your eyes, you see yash. So, it's everywhere. PDA or no? Uh, I, I, I think it depends on my mind frame. If I'm tipsy, yeah. If I'm not tipsy, no. It depends on the country. If I'm in Europe or America now, yeah. If I'm in Nigeria, no. Yeah. What's the most expensive gift you've given someone? Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. A car. Yeah, a car. Your best friend's babe moves to you. Would you smash or snitch? I'm definitely not smashing. I feel like people that actually do that have like zero discipline because they're like billions of women. So why does it have to be your guy's babe or your babe's or your friend's? Guy. Like I feel like you just lack discipline. No matter of even respect or something, you just lack discipline as a person. And you're a hoe. That's how. Yeah. So, so definitely not. I would snitch sensibly. Then a woman that works in the entertainment industry or other industries. Well, I really don't mind. But if I had to choose, I'd say um, someone that works in like other industries definitely because I don't need anybody knowing who I'm dating or who are the wrong people. So. Yeah, other industry. What's your love language? I'd say quality time, to be honest. Like, if I actually like you as a person, I'd like to have you around. Because I'm always like very protective of my space. So if I want you around, I'm like, I really like you. So that's the, my love language, quality time. What's your craziest breakup story? Fun fact, I've actually had only one ex. <laughs> so if you think you're my ex, I have only one ex, just one ex. I broke up with her. Yeah, because, um, but it's not a crazy story to be honest. Like, we're not just in the same place, like moving in the same direction. So, I had to uh, let her be free. Movie dates or dinner dates? Dinner dates. I went for a movie date once and I slept off. So, I, I don't think I really enjoy like watching movies like that. I'm not like really much of a movie guy because I'm not patient enough to like wait to the end. So, Definitely dinner dates. I like trying new food, like stuff, like kind of food that I've never like eaten before and stuff. So dinner dates and dinner dates, you get to talk to each other actually instead of just like focusing on you. What is Body and Soul about? Body and Soul is a love song about assurance and being there for the people you love. And necessarily not just a song about romantic relationships, it could actually be like be your family, your friends, people you actually like holding high esteem, like promising them that you'll be there for them. 
whenever they need you. Big shout out to We Talk Sounds for putting this together. Um, wonderful platform that supports like emerging artists and also works with like already established artists and just like a beautiful community where you can talk about music and you know relate on some real on some real peak. Yeah, so follow We Talk Sounds and big shout out to them. Big shout out to you guys for what you're doing. God bless you. It's your boy on deck.